get to know about the latest events at Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines in its mission of communicating the good news of Jesus Christ on air, online, and on the ground. Here is Dan Andrew Kura for The President's Report. Well, another wonderful day to all of you here in uh, the Philippines and elsewhere that you're able to hear and see this particular report. We're very happy that uh, today we continue our conversation with the new Chief Operations Officer of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, Luis Castillo, or how we fondly call him, Lucho Castillo. Today we're going to be talking about the other updates in the FEBC ministry. I'm your friend, Dan Andrew. Do join me in this episode of The President's Report. Our special guest today is the new Chief Operations Officer of FEBC Philippines, and we'd like to welcome Cuya Luis Lucho Castillo. Now, one of the one of the big ticket items also for uh, for FEBC is really, as you've mentioned earlier, trying to develop ourselves in the digital platform. Um, we've been so used, we're so experts in uh, in uh, uh, terrestrial broadcast antennas, transmitters, but really when it comes to the digital space, we're still trying to stretch our legs with this. So, um, what are the inroads in terms of um, trying to develop FEBC digitally? Okay, I'll talk about digital in a social engagement, interaction okay. Okay. context. Because that's what it's really all about, mm -hmm. um, engaging with our listeners and viewers. So for FEBC Philippines is to, to be heard not only in radio, but in relevant media that can reach mm -hmm. those who are in need of uh, the gospel. For digital, it's really how to engage via um, social media, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, social media through email or mm -hmm. even through chat. Mm -hmm. So there, there is a multitude of uh, platforms available in the digital space mm -hmm. for us to, to be heard. And eventually try to gather that. In, I think if there's one, uh, one critical item when it comes to the digital space is actually how to gather the information so that we can even hone uh, and make our message sharper, as it were. Yes, that's true, mm -hmm. Kuya Dan, because um, one of the challenges of radio is to have that analytics you know <laughs> uh, but in the digital mm. space that's one thing that it affords us mm. you know we are able to come up with analytics for us to have a better grasp of uh, the people that we mm. engage with and therefore we are able to come up with programs that are relevant that, that can engage them more and connect with them mm -hmm. wow so there's really uh, a whole uh, lot of uh, projects and work uh, way ahead of us in trying to uh, do our work. Well, you know, thank you so much for joining us. But before we uh, before we end our conversation, maybe you'd like to uh, engage our uh, our listeners and those that are listening to us through the digital space, maybe to continue to support the work of FEBC. All right. Um, for all those who are watching, um, don't forget the power of intercessory prayer. Uh, we need your prayer so that the people in FEBC will continue to do the work, you know, um, in terms of bringing the gospel of Christ in its pu purest essence. So that's mm -hmm. the main thing. And of course, pray that people will come work alongside us as we um, pursue so many things ahead in our future. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, digital, LPFM, and all these other initiatives that we are working mm -hmm. on. May I encourage you to please pray for me and Kuya Lucho as we, together with our leaders, our staff, and volunteers, who are all working together to ensure that the work of God that began in FEBC 74 years ago will continue to grow and thrive in this fast-changing world. As we move forward, our message and mission still remains, and that is to proclaim the love and message of Jesus Christ to all Filipinos, wherever they are. So please pray that these efforts will lead to more Filipinos being reached and transformed with the help of our programs. Now, once again, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm your friend, Dan Andrew for 
the President's Report. As always, stay safe and God bless you. You've just heard the President's Report. If you would like to support the work of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, please visit our website, donatenow.febc.ph or email us at info at for your questions or suggestions.